Alrighty, offshore oil mining, should it be eliminated or sustained? This quote from Margaret Thatcher's uh, address to the UN about pollution really demonstrates how we should be uh, responsible for it. And this also this is also one of the Stimpak uh, articles. But however, when I looked at this, I wanted to think deeper about it. Like, are there processes that both hurt our environment yet are beneficial to us? And from that, I came, I came up with this research question. Now, offshore oil mining. Uh, according to, in 2017, the U.S. consumed a total of 7.28 billion barrels of petroleum products, an average of about 19.96 million barrels per day, according to the Energy Information Administration. Now, what this shows is how important this this resource is to the average American, because no matter what you're, how you're using it, you can't escape it. Like for example, the average homeowner uses a lot of this because their water heaters use over half the amount of gas that goes into their homes. So no matter where you go, you can't escape it. Even if you have, a, even with our new electric cars, there's just not enough of that to go around and do their prices. So these are still being used. Now the, the first step, is it politically accepted? Martin O'Malley, the former governor of Maryland, a Democrat, is is in favor of it. He also he also states in one of his articles that only two percent of the of only two percent of the outer continental shelf is being used for oil excavation, and he agrees that that more of it should it should be expanded so more of it will be able to be used for oil rigs. And on the other side, we have the Republican. The U.S. USA Today reports that the Trump administration is also in favor of this and that their, their uh, energy agenda consists a lot of, of expanding the, the, the usable area for oil rigs. This shows how the, between, between both sides of, of, the, uh, of the political parties, we can see that they're both in favor for it. Now, is it necessary? The answer to this simply is yes, it absolutely is. Now, as we, as we can see, this graph shows that the, the use of oil has, has been going up steadily, and we need, we need to fulfill these needs with more oil production. Additionally, oil can be used for many, many things, both pow powering houses, buildings, etc., and many petroleum products that we all use every day, such as gas at the pump to fill your car, and gas we use to light our stoves, etc. However, there is a, another side to the, to the process of this, and oil, oil rigs can have accidents, which result in oil spills. The largest spill, uh, the, deep, the, the deep water horizon spill in the Gulf of Mexico, spilled over 134 million gallons of oil into the Gulf, over 87 days, which which covers span around 1,300 miles, and this this had massive environmental impacts and killed thousands of marine animals. However, however, this may be devastating, but there are ways to clean it, including skimming, burning the oil, and chemical dispersants. Skimming is the safest process because it does not involve any use of chemicals or fire, and can be done near shorelines if the oil travels there. The only problem with it is that it needs to happen very quickly after the oil is spilled, while all of it is still on the surface. Even if this cannot be used, there, the other methods will work, as long as they're not by short lines. Now, the resolution to this was proposed by Sean Lonnie, a PhD in offshore engineering. He proposes, he proposes a, a raise of automated systems into, into the field of offshore Oil, oil excavation. One of the specific ideas was gas leak detector systems to monitor gas leaks, and if we if we apply this, we can reduce reduce the risk of human errors that can result in explosions and oil spills. In fact, the North Sea oil rig is being equipped with some of these as early as next year.
Now the conclusion is in order. I think this sh this process should be continued because it is necessary for for us because we just don't have that electric component of our lives yet that we need in order to halt this. But there has to be something to need to happen with it. We have to make we have to make it so there's a very small percent chance of there being an oil spill by implanting these uh, these automated systems which I previously spoke of. Additionally, I think there should be ex expansion to where uh, oil rigs can be allowed to excavate, but I don't think it should be as big as what is being discussed upon right now. Only 2% of the outer continental shelf is being used. I think we should we could push that around 5 or 10% without causing any big uh, ecological damage, but I don't think the entire shelf should be used because that is dangerous.